going to be the intro now, don't oh, you? Yes. Filming. Yes. So you were just setting up the shot. No, oh, it was no. filming. <laughs> no, that's it. That's the intro. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha Shasha and I am here at the Pusheen Cafe, better known as the Artbox Cafe Pusheen Snack Parlor. I am here again. I basically just never leave this place. They don't quite know it, but I actually live downstairs. Um, so anyway, if you are into all things that are Pusheenified, then this is definitely the place for you to be. Make sure that you do stick around on this channel and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my videos. Now, all that being said, let's just get into the tea, honey, because there's so many new things that they have here in the store. I can't even. So, this is number one. This is this gorgeous, massive calendar, which features the most adorable pictures on it. How cute are these? Like, can we just? And there's even a mini version of it as well. This is the teeny tiny mini version. So this one's perfect to like go on your desk or something like that. And this one is more for like your wall. Absolutely adorable. This is probably like the size of like say a CD. And this is like four times the size. <laughs> A lot of the new things here are actually to do with stationery. So there are a whole heap of new notebooks and everything. Um, like, ugh, it's a lot, girl. Like, let me just get into this. There's so, so many. So this one is quite posh, actually. This is the uh, premium Pusheen pocketbook. I mean, can we just? It's got the little um, uh, celebration Pusheen on the back. Let me take a cheeky little open. Ooh. <laughs> Hopefully I won't regret this and hopefully I can actually put it back into place. But can you see, there she is there with, oh, hang on, I can't even show you because the labels are there. But you get the drift, okay? It's Pusheen with some balloons. You know that picture, don't you? Let me just try and get it back in. So I don't get in trouble for that. <laughs> oh my God, look at this one. This is adorable. We've got Pusheen there with her little ice cream. And inside it is a day per, um, per page which is really cool. And it's got some gorgeous pictures in there as well. I really like the um, plastic inserts that they have in here too. And just some really lovely photographs. Um, these are things that you can probably, <laughs> that you can probably uh, frame like once the year is out. Look at little Pip, oh my God. Oh my goodness, oh look at her. And she's so cute. It's even got a little ruler in the back because you know, we always need a ruler. <laughs> This one here is just a pretty standard notebook, but what I love is just the beautiful gold uh, lining of this, and it's also on the back as well. Very premium, darling, premium. Um, and it's got really cute little like flowers and stuff in the top corner and in the bottom corner. There's Pusheen with the little petals floating down onto her. It's so adorable. Hi, actually it matches my badge. I've got a high badge. Where is it? Hi. <laughs> Oh my gosh, again, just quite a standard one with just a little Pusheen there in the corner. The standard ones are actually quite reasonably priced. Uh, this one's only six pounds, so that's pretty good. This one is so, so cute. So this is a 2020 planner um, and it's more like gaming themed. Check this out. <laughs> she looks so, so cute. She actually works at a call centre. That is adorable. And in the back, I believe you've actually got some stickers as well. Check these out. That is so, so super duper cute. Oh my goodness. This one is actually slightly bigger and this is a 2019 to 2020 diary. Um, I know that we are pretty much out of 2019 now, but this was probably available a little bit earlier on uh, in the year and I just didn't see it. <laughs> but it is so, so cute, slightly bigger. So I'd probably go for something like this if it was me. Um, well, I say that. I'm terrible, I'm absolutely terrible at keeping diaries. Like, uh, my, my, my brain just doesn't quite work like that. So <laughs> I just forget how to actually write down what I need to do in my life. They've got really, really cute uh, photographs in there. Really sweet little like wallpapers and backgrounds. Absolutely adorable. A couple more adorable diaries here. This one again is 2019 to 2020. And this one is just a straight up 2020 diary. I love anything that's got like the gold on it as well. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And I am feeling the ombre in this. And look at the wallpaper on the inside. 
but I need this in my house, like on my walls. I love that it's got Pusheen's Guide to Selfies just written here in the bottom. And it's got some adorable pictures in here as well. Like they just go all out with these diaries. Like they're so, so pretty. Like they make you want to use them, but at the same time, they make you not want to use them because they're too pretty. Like look how cute this is. This is adorable. I really like this um, fly away notebook here. This one is another one that features the gorgeous gold embossing and this is just plain lined paper inside here. But this one here has got graph paper. So if you're somebody who like, you know, needs graph paper for like maths or anything like that, or if you like to just like do different like pixel designs and stuff, this is quite a cool diary for you. When I say diary, it's a notebook but it is a really, really cool one. I've actually never seen a notebook that has graph paper, so that's actually taken me way back. <laughs> I haven't seen graph paper since I was about 14. <laughs> We've also got some massive ones as well. Look at this, this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love this one. She looks so, so cute here. And I love this picture of her on the back with her little record, oh my God. And again, this one's got graph paper in too. So this is fantastic if you are a pixel artist or if you do like maths and stuff and you need to have some graph paper. This is fabulous, I love it. And this one here, this one's got just plain lined paper in it, but I really like the feel of the actual material, the sort of like plasticky, vinyl-y sort of feel. I really do like that. Hi, come here, come and show me some love. Good How to are see you? you? How ah. are you? <laughs> I'm good. Is I'm good. Video? I am. I am. I'm just like bigging up all of your amazing stuff that you have. Oh, it's got nice and busy. Hiya. You're right. How are you? I'm all right. Oh, sorry. I'm all like mic'd up and everything. Oh, really well. I'm um, doing a video on all of your stuff, mm -hmm. um, no, and I am just in awe of that. Wow. That, to, I mean, this visually I is, it no. Yeah. I don't have any money today, so just, I can't try it. Try the I, have, I haven't tried any of it yet. Bear with me. We've also got a couple of desk planners as well. So this is one, quite similar to the one that I've got at home actually, but in a different theme. This is absolutely adorable. So this has got basically all of the different days or on there so you can just jot down things that you need to do in the day and this one is a to-do list things to do later because you know we all know Pasheen she's well lazy <laughs> she ain't got time to do nothing if, if it's not <laughs> just fill out my hand if it's not eating or sleeping Pasheen's not doing it what is this it's a uh, vegan mince pie we should try it here we go come here come here come here so this is Tiago oh, nice. And he's just giving me, oh my God, I just noticed it's a different type of tub. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh my God. Right, I want to see your reaction while eating it. So. This is, this is, this is vegan mince pie ice cream. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> oh my God. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> Mate, this is nah. <laughs> this, oh my god, you know, you know, with the pumpkin spice, I've got like the cinnamon. Right, what is in this? Alright, so uh, basically, it's real mint spice soaked with caramel overnight. Real mint spice soaked in caramel yeah. overnight. Yeah. Vegan and gluten-free yeah. mince pies. Oh my gosh. Caramel overnight and then to make ice cream the next day. Uh, vegan, of course. And gluten-free. Vegan, gluten-free. We have got you here at the Art Box Cafe, okay? This is divine. I'm glad. Thank you. Did you make it? Yeah. Did you come up with the idea? Oh my gosh, you're a genius. <laughs> the rest of the video is cancelled, people. That's it. I'm going to just sit here and just eat my ice cream. <laughs> Oh my god! I can't get over this cup. Look at this. Mm -mm. I think I might have to like wash it out and then just like wear it. <laughs> you know what I'm like. Oh my god! It's so nice. Thank you so so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh my god. Bye guys. <laughs> I'm not joking when I say this is like one of the best things I've ever tasted. This and the pumpkin spice ice cream. Oh my god. <laughs> so it only seems natural to go from eating that 
<laughs> talking about the Christmas menu, right? So they've actually got two new desserts. The first one features that amazing mince pie ice cream and it's a Christmas baking sundae and it just looks absolutely incredible. Take a look at this. How gorgeous is this? How aesthetically pleasing is this? Pasheen has been busy baking up a bunch of festive treats. This delicious sundae features our seasonal mince pie ice cream together with red velvet and vanilla ice cream over warm blondie pieces and caramel sauce topped with fudge, sprinkles, a mini cookie, cookie crumbs and a candy cane and they have vegan and gluten free options. What? Can we just? Oh my goodness. I've got to come back here just to have that sundae because that is... And then they've got here the Christmas tree waffle. This looks amazing and look at this. Not only is there like a Christmas tree waffle, but they've also got a little mini like Christmas pudding. It's actually chocolate ice cream, but it looks like a Christmas pudding. And look at the little like tags that you get with it as well. So, so cute. Pasheen has transformed into a Christmas tree. This super festive waffle is topped with toffee sauce, strawberry laces and chocolate beans and served with a pot of chocolate ice cream that looks just like a Christmas pudding. Oh! And there's a vegan version available for that as well. Fabulous. If you get a drink from the Machine Cafe, you actually do get yourself one of these adorable double-sided coasters. Look at little Santa Machine. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is actually my one now. And I now have only one more coaster to collect. So then that will mean that I've got all of the current ones, unless they decide to bring out 10 more. And then I just gotta keep on coming back. But I already told you, I live here. <laughs> kind of keeping in with the food and drink theme, I wanted to show you this absolutely adorable teapot and teacup set. This is epic, ever so, ever so sweet. So her little head pops up there and uh, you just sort of like pour out your tea. <laughs> into this adorable little mug it is the sweetest sweetest thing and my favorite new plush is the cat prosciutto oh my gosh i love this so so much and i would very much like to just get one to put a hole in the top so i can wear it as a necklace <laughs> either that or just like on my head because you know you know what i'm like like i like to just like wear everything <laughs> This is, this is my life. I just put anything and everything on my head. But I just think this is just the most adorable thing and I want her so, so much. A very popular exclusive is this one. And I think there are only two of them left at the moment. I don't know if they're gonna be getting any more. So if this is your bag, you need to hurry up and get down here to grab it because this is so, so cute and I love that her Rain Mac actually feels like a Rain Mac. Like it's the exact same sort of material. She's just so, so adorable in this. I love her so, so much. So I've just been given my very first little blind box. I've never actually bought myself one of these. Um, <laughs> so I'm so excited to open this. It's a surprise plush and it's from the Christmas um, uh, theme so like I'm very excited to open this oh my goodness okay here we go the box itself is just so so cute I'm gonna try to preserve the box if I can <laughs> you know me already I'm terrible at opening up anything okay Ooh. I wonder I wonder who I've got I thought. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at little Pip. Oh. oh my gosh! He's going straight on the tree. Look at this. Oh my gosh! And he's all like fluffy and. Oh. And even the candy cane's got glitter. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> that is adorable. Do you know, if I had two, I'd wear it as an earring. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. I can't get over how soft that it feels. Oh my God. So there's six to collect, no, seven to collect, sorry. You can get, let me show you. So these are the different ones that you can collect. I'm loving Fasheen with the cookie. That is really, really cute. And Fasheen with the little um, cappuccino as well here. That's really, really sweet. This is the one that I have. I don't actually have anything that has pip. So like, this is really, really sweet for me. I can't get over the softness though. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> I'm so happy here. I'm so happy. You don't know. I'm Oh, I'm so happy. Right, let's open this now. There is just far too much joy in this video. Like, I've got no idea how long this is going to be because there's so much stuff I need to show you. Okay, so this is uh, an official new Christmas ornament that I've not actually had a proper look at yet. So we're going to open this up together. I'm loving this, like, extravagant packaging here. Look at this. Limited edition metal ornaments. When you see, like, an embossed stamp, you know that this is official, okay? <laughs> We're not mucking about here. All right, here we go. Let's have a little look. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm not even gonna take it out of the box, you know? I'm not gonna take it out of the box because I don't want anything to happen to this. Look at this. Oh, that is just absolutely stunning. Is there anything on the back? No, that's fine. Okay, so I, I didn't have to take it out of the box to show you anything. But look at this. That is stunning. And it's really quite heavy as well. Like, it's got a really nice weight to it. This is gorgeous. I would wear that as a necklace or, like, as a massive ring. <laughs> I do have problems. <laughs> I need to just stop trying to wear everything. On to clothing now. Now they've got plenty of uh, exclusives right back there. Then if you guys can see, I'll probably go over there and uh, do some quick shots of the clothes that are there. But ones that are sort of Christmassy and wintery. There's this one here, this t-shirt. It says holiday gifts from your cat. So we've got love and we've got uh, <laughs> peace. I thought I said tea. <laughs> we have joy and a terrible sweater. That is so, so adorable. Um, color scheme wise, this isn't really my color. This is a very like Christmas green. I prefer pastel colors. But that being said, if you love Christmas green, then this is definitely the t-shirt for you. This scarf is absolutely adorable. Look at this. So many pushies. <laughs> Do you know, I'm not gonna like fully unravel it because I know what I'm like. I'm not gonna be able to put it back together properly. <laughs> I don't want to make these people's job any harder than it already is. They don't need me coming in and messing up the whole shop, but you get the drift. A whole load of machines on a roll. We've also got some earmuffs too. I've actually got some earmuffs at home, which are very similar to these ones, but I think that mine have a grey band, not a um, brown one. But this is really, really cute. Now, these gloves are absolutely adorable. So they're like little mittens, but they're also fingerless gloves. And it's even got her little toe beans or bean toes, however you want to say it. <laughs> They're so, so, so cute. I love them. I actually have a pair of these already at home. They are just adorable. I just love the fact that like it's even got her little ears here. There's a lot of attention to detail with this. And even got the little tail as well. Like, can we just? <laughs> got a couple of cool hats here as well. So this one has the dangly bits down the side. <laughs> This is so, so cute. My Pusheen hat at home is basically this, but without the dangly bits. And then we have, actually no, it's more like this, but without the brown. My one is just all gray. But this is actually probably better for me. My makeup, it wouldn't show up on that. Whereas on my one at home, it really does show up. So these are all things to bear in mind when you are choosing which hat that you're gonna buy. Okay, what color is your makeup? If it's brown, Go for that one. <laughs> now these I absolutely love. Look at this. How lush would this be to craft on? The only thing is because I use resin, I'd be worried about like getting it all like, you know, tacky and stuff, but it would make a really, really nice backdrop for my videos, I can't lie. And you already know that I am Pashina Corn at heart, okay? So this, <laughs> this is 
me just you know cruising around in my garden there's my castle there in the back you know standard <laughs> They've also got a super adorable So Lazy dress. It's in a lovely sort of peachy pink color and the fashion on it, it's got this lovely sort of like bobbly sort of feel to it. It's so, so cute. And because the lining of it is a sort of fleecy lining, it's definitely one for you to wear in the winter time because you ain't gonna be feeling the cold wearing a cute dress like that. It's actually a crime that I don't already own this. <laughs> like I really, really should. And they used to have wreaths as well, but I think they might be sold out. Um, Lucy. Is Lucy there? Oh, there you are. <laughs> do we do we have any more um, of the wreaths? We don't currently have any more wreaths. Oh, they're gone. They're gone for now. Sold out. See, you snooze, you lose. Now that's not even everything that they have here in this store at the moment. So let's go for a quick little walk around so you can just see. Because if I start talking about everything, I'm going to be here all day. If you love all things Pusheen, then make sure that you do subscribe so that you don't miss any more of my videos. And also check out my Pusheen playlist because there's plenty there for you to get stuck into. Take care, my darlings, and I'll see you all soon. Mwah. Bye.